welcome to a special afternoon edition of the Dog Man. Yeah, got back from Aldi's. Went off without a hitch, man. But you know, I was giving some people in there the eyeball. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, you'll have to look at the previous video on this channel where I talk about cart theft. It's real. And it happened to me. Counselors will be coming. Because I, I'm not over it. Anyway. Nothing special happened today. Walmart was boring. You know, if you go early in the morning, you get the normal people. You know, you want to get the weird stuff? You got to go in the afternoon, man. Yeah. And I don't try to do that. Most anything I do, it's in the morning. But I did notice on my road leaving, they're suicide birds. They just hang out. That's what I call them. Because they got to be the dumbest creature on earth or they just hate being a bird. Why would you hate being a bird? You can fly anywhere you want. You ain't got to buy no ticket. You can go anywhere you want. Nope. These birds wait for a vehicle to come by. And this I noticed this. It's early in the morning. And when they see you coming, they fly right at you. And you swear you hit them. I don't hear nothing. I don't see feathers flying in the background. I don't know if they play in a game, you know, if it's a game of truth or dare that birds do. And then to make it worse, this is the time of the year. I could probably go out of my yard right now and see 15 rabbits. If I looked hard enough, they are everywhere. And they do the same thing. They're hanging out on the side of the road and they want to see if they can beat you. Oh, I don't like killing anything, you know, especially if they're dumb enough to run out in the road. So we drove down the road, went through the suicide birds, the daredevil rabbits. And then you know what's next? This starts in about May of every year, as long as I remember. Growing up in Oklahoma, here in Arkansas, they do the same thing, probably other states I never noticed it up north whenever I worked up north, Minnesota, Ohio. I've never noticed this. But the tortoises or the turtles, you got the box turtles, you got whatever they are. Whatever breed, it don't matter. They're all turtles. I call them turtles. They like to cross over the road. Where the hell are they going? To the great turtley turtle convention of 2024? Are they daring each other? Are men born on one side of the road and the women turtles on the other? Don't know. When I die and get to the afterlife, I'm going to ask, why do they cross the road? Why can't their mothers lay their eggs on the right side of the road? Those, those are questions probably nobody else but me thinks about. But I did see one thing today that really got me mad. Of course, you know it was a dog. Now, Highway 71 is very, very busy um, two-lane road. Uh, that's the only way to get to Fort Smith. And on the way back, I was paying attention, but I kind of seen, I seen him. There was a dog sitting on the side of the road, and he's just sitting there. And as soon as I passed, I could swear he looked both ways and he crossed that road. Don't know if he was somebody that, you know, somebody that lived on that highway uh, just lets him run like that. If so, I mean, eventually, if you let your dogs run loose to a highway like that, eventually that's going to probably be the end of them, which is sad. And, man, I'm just thankful I didn't hit it. I can only remember hitting one dog in my life, and that was here in Arkansas, and that was about four years ago. I was on my way to the ranch, on my way to work, and just out of nowhere, man, I'm going 55 miles an hour. I'm almost there where I have to turn off to go to the ranch, and it just, it was chasing something and just shot across the road. There was no, no not even time 
to hit the brakes. I heard the thump, and man, my heart sunk because, you know, as much as I love dogs, that I'm the last one that wants to hit one. And I didn't ever see what happened to it. You know, I, I didn't stop because at the speed I hit it and how hard it hit, there was no chance. No way that thing lived. The dog, not a thing. And uh, it did quite a bit of damage to my car. It, it broke the air conditioner, condenser line, uh, messed up the bumper. It was about the size of Tilly. Uh, man, I tell you what, that ruined my entire week. And it's something that nobody wants to do. I, I mean, I don't even remember hitting a cat ever. You know, I'm just careful. I'm very, especially around here, I keep an eye on the sides of the roads, you know. And a lot of people don't pay attention. They're texting, whatever. And that's how a lot of animals uh, get run over, is people not paying attention, fiddling with the radio, texting. I was behind one today. Um. Uh, she was all over the road. You know, it was one of them Camaros. That's what chicks drive, is those Camaros. You don't see dudes in them Camaros, them new ones. You see dudes in the old Camaros and the old Mustangs, but you don't see them in the new ones. They don't buy those. I wouldn't. And she's all over the road. I'm like, she's drunk. But that's my old school thinking. Then I thought, well, no, she's texting. Sure enough, you know, my truck sits up high. So I got around her. Because I didn't want to be behind that when she ran off the road. And sure enough, here she was. Her fingers were must have been locked around the steering wheel like this. And right in the center of the steering wheel, texting. And so I slowed down. And to see if she would look at me, she never took her eyes up. And then when we got to the light, I looked at her. And she looked at me and I went. And she just went. Like, don't you worry about it. Oh. Oh. You know, if I didn't need supplies, didn't have to go shopping, I probably wouldn't even bother to go out. You know, if Amazon can deliver or somebody can deliver all my food, I'd just soon stay home and not have to deal with them. Because they're out there. My nose itches. That's because I'm, I'm, you know, recording. So anyway, just thought I'd do a special edition for the afternoon. Because I want to test out my new microphone. How does it sound? I haven't even tweaked it yet. Um, I don't even have the programmer or whatever you got to down. You know, everything you buy, you got to have an app. Everything's got an app. So I don't know if this has an app. But it sounds a whole lot better than my old one. At least in my headphones. I won't know till I get this thing up there. Uh, went out for a bike ride earlier. Uh, one of my e-bikes. That video should be completely uploaded now on the other channel, Washita Mountain. And if my nose don't quit itching, ah, there. I think it's done. So that should be up momentarily. I went over to Peter's house from Old Man King Homestead. Yeah, I did pulled in there you know it's like there's a rule at that place that somebody with a long beard has to live there and now he's the he's the bearded one now so catch that video i even though it's a uh product promotion i try to make them fun you know that so go watch it but it don't cost nothing give it a like you ain't got to buy the bike it is a cheap one though about a thousand dollars yeah, it's big. It's a big. It's the biggest one I got. So it, it was really fun. And the weather today, 80 degrees. Great day for that. And I believe I am going to be doing the Dogtober again this year. And for those of you who are new subscribers or don't know what I'm talking about, I make a video on each channel every single day for 30 days. And at the end of that 30 days, when YouTube pays me whatever I made, I donate 100% of my earnings to the local rescue called Furry Tales Rescue and to help with transporting the dogs up north, care, 
Uh, they are still working on getting their new hospital uh, put together. Um, so it's something I can do once a year. You know, hey, if my channel grows or one of them videos goes viral, that could be a lot of money for them. So I don't mind doing that. It's a little hard trying to figure out how to, what to do every day, especially on two channels. But I did it last year. I'll do it better this year. So with that said, I'm going to get on out here. Happy trails.